The second shloka of Kalabhairava Ashtakam describes a few more attributes of the personified form of Lord Kalabhairava. As we saw in the previous video, these can be interpreted to describe Shiva as a fierce yogi roaming the streets of Kashi and also as a larger aspect of existence which is beyond physical nature. Before we start exploring these aspects in complete detail, let us first learn to chant the second shloka without any mispronunciations. Bhanu Koti Bhaswaram Bhavabdhi Tarakam Param Nila Kantha Meepsi Tartha Dayakam Trilochanam Kala Kala Mambu Jaksha Maksha Shula Maksharam Kashika Puradhinatha Kala Bhairavam Bhaje We had already learned the detailed meaning of the recurring fourth line of every stanza Kashika Puradhinatha Kala Bhairavam Bhaje which means I worship the main ruler of the city of Kashi, Kalabhairava. We also learned that in order to identify the different descriptions in the first three lines, we need to look at word clusters ending in the sound am, which denotes Dvitiya Vibhaktihi. The first of them is Aksharam. The word Kshara literally means to perish or to decay. The prefix a before it negates the meaning, describing Kalabhairava as a yogi, to be eternally youthful, and as an aspect of creation, to be imperishable and eternal. The next attribute, Aksha Shulam, the one who carries a spear made of Aksha, which also means a bone. The next attribute is Ambuja Aksham, the one who has eyes, Akshi, which are like lotuses, Ambuja. Kala Kalam, this word has many interpretations. The word Kala means time, darkness, and also signifies death, therefore depicting the god of death, Lord Yama himself. Kala Kala, can therefore be interpreted as the one who is darker than darkness, the one who is the embodiment of eternal time, and also as the one who caused the death of Yama himself. This comes from a beautiful story where Lord Shiva saves one of his child devotees Markandeya from the fate of an untimely death at the hands of Lord Yama. The next attribute that ends in Am is Trilochanam, the one with three eyes. Physically, this is depicted as a vertical third eye in the middle of Lord Shiva's forehead, which when opened burns up everything in his sight, but metaphorically it represents a fully activated Agnya Chakra which symbolizes pure perception, unentangled by any worldly attachments. The next attribute, Eepsita Artha Dayakam, the one who grants Dayakam, the objectives Artha of one's desire, Eepsita. Neela Kantham, the one who has a blue Neela, neck, Kantha. This is a reference to the story where Lord Shiva swallows the poison born out of the churning of the milky ocean Kshira Sagara and holds it in his throat, turning it blue. It also refers to the fully activated Vishuddhi Chakra, which is associated with the blue color. Next, I worship Param, the one who is of the beyond. Bhava Abdhi Tarakam, the one who takes us across Tarakam, the sea, Abdhi, of existence, Bhava. And Bhanu Koti Bhaswaram, the one who shines with the radiance Bhaswaram of a series Koti of sons Bhanu. With this, we complete the exploration of the individual attributes of Lord Kalabhairava mentioned in the second shloka. Putting all these meanings together, the gist of the entire shloka is I worship the main ruler of the city of Kashi, Kalabhairava, who shines with the radiance of a series of suns, who helps us cross the ocean of existence, who is of the beyond has a blue neck, who grants the objectives of one's desire, who has three eyes, who is capable of putting an end to death itself, who has lotus-like eyes, who wields a spear made of bone, and who is undecaying and eternal. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. Share it across with those whom you think might benefit from this. If you wish to support the production of more videos like these, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution all through the links in the description below. Also, consider clicking on the subscribe button and the bell icon beside it so that you are immediately notified of our latest updates. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.